Yeah, so we've already touched a lot of ground. Um, but I, my guess is that you're thinking now, where's the web application? You promised me a JS web application. And I think it's time for us now to focus on just getting that application up and running. And then we'll go into the theory afterwards, step by step as we move through the web application. And then I'll try to explain in theory the different areas that we come to instead of keep going into these theory sessions so you guys fall asleep. But before we do it, we need one more thing, one more tool. Any software developer out there knows that if you want to be somebody, you need to know how to use a version control tool. And there's a few tools out there. I think SVN and Git are the two most used one right now. And we're going to use Git. The reason is that a lot of the tools that the Angular full stack that we'll use in the next lesson, a lot of the tools that is actually using pulls down information directly from the web using Git. So we just can't live without it. So let's install Git and I'll get back to version control later and go into more details about what it's all about. But I can start downloading here. So I'm on git scm.com. I'll press downloads and we'll find it for Windows, of course. And it starts downloading over here. And while it does, let me just explain real briefly what version control is all about. It's about us being able to share code as a team. So it's important if you write bigger systems that you need to be able to share with your co-developers, right? So you have some kind of, we call it a repository in the cloud where everybody can send code to that repository and the same everybody can pull down the code for the machine. Now there's a lot more behind the scenes and we can talk into more details later, but that's what Git is about. And I think what two of the most used Git repositories out there is the one on GitHub, which is the one I use myself. And then the other one, which I use for private projects is called Bitbucket. So we'll get into these two later, but I want this to be now, we want that web application. So let's get to it. So I've downloaded Git and I'll start installing it. And this is sadly a long process. So it needs to install a lot of different tools here. It needs to download a lot of files. But let me show you the installation step by step here. Again, I use the defaults. There's no magic in here. You need to tell it where to put your Git. You need to tell that you want your Git bash and your Git GUI. So those needs to be checked. All of these needs to be checked. And the rest of it looks fine. It wants to create a shortcut. I'll allow that. And then this one is important because we want to use git inside the command prompt as well. We're going to play around with the git bash terminal, but we want to also be able to use git inside the command prompt maybe later. All it means is that it'll add something to your path variable inside Windows, so there's no nothing dangerous in it. So I'll say yes to that. I'll keep the Windows style here and I'll keep Minty because I like that UI better than the default console window and I won't enable file caching, so it'll start installing and that'll take a bit of time. While this works, let me just show you the project we'll clone later. And what is clone? That just means we'll copy it to your machine. Because I actually already started working on the project that I showed in the teaser that's actually already up there on Git, on GitHub, sorry. So if you want to download that and you know how to do it, the link is here and you can copy it and paste it and you'll get this and I'll show you in the next lesson how to actually execute all of this. But let's see if it's actually done with installing the Git now. It's almost there. So for the next lesson, we're going to write our first web application. We are. I'm not. I'm not joking. Next time when we're done with the next lesson, you'll have your full feature web application that you can show your friends on your local host. And we won't publish it yet to a web server in the cloud, but we will later. Before we do this, let's just finish and see to make sure that you have Git installed. So if we go in here and we write Git, there's something called the Git bash. That's another terminal and that's the one we're going to use from now on. See, it's a bit different here than the command prompt. So if we write Git in here, you'll see that you can actually get some information about your Git. If we want to make sure that it's also in the command prompt, we can go in and write command prompt and try to write 
git here as well and see what happens. And you get the same information, so git is installed in both places. If you get something where it says git couldn't be found, you forgot to set the check mark, do the installation again and set the check mark that you want it to be in the Windows command prompt as well. Go back in the video, it's, I think it's second or third step in there. But now we have Git, so now we're ready to deploy, uh, sorry, to build the full featured web application in JavaScript with a few simple commands. Get tuned for the next video, it'll be awesome. Thanks for your time, see you next time.